Um, you recently posted on Facebook how in 2017 you kept a journal of every hunt. Um, it was very detailed. Uh, um, and he said, I was curious if there was something you specifically learned that year from that journal you kept. Yeah, I, I that's why I posted it, because I really found it interesting. Uh, um, at the same time that I finished that journal, like the end of the season, mm-hmm. there was a lot of debating that year about scent control. Mm. So I went back and looked at the journal and, and wanted to know, well, okay, how much did scent control or the lack of affect my hunt? Because I had guys telling me, now I'm using scent control and, and I've hunted this many days and I had this many times I got winded, which is a lot less than what I should have. I had deer downwind of me and I thought, you know, I had deer downwind of me and they didn't win me. I remember dropping milkweed and it hit deer, you know, and um, so I went back. And I checked my journal and I'm not saying the deer didn't win me downwind. Maybe they didn't. Maybe the current was just off. You know what I'm saying? But the yep. wind was generally blowing at them or whatever. Um, some reacted, some didn't, but I had all that in that journal. So then I compiled the numbers. And I remember when I posted that on the website and you could probably find it if you, if you search on the, on the website, the very first post that I did of that in 2017, um, there were a lot of guys who said um, they thought they were really getting away with something with scent control, but when they compared it, it wasn't much different than what had happened with me. Um, mm, pretty much so that was my learning point with that. Um, honestly, I already had it in my mind that, you know, I've tried scent control. I've tried not scent control and I know scent control is bogus, but seeing the numbers and seeing how it compared to people who did scent control was the eye-opening thing where I actually seen some confirming evidence basically, you know? Yeah. So that's why I posted that to share it. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, that's something I need to do a better job at is journaling my, I mean, I video everything. So I got that a little bit, but you know, you know, that's, that's only, I'm bad so at it I, too. I was I was journaling to keep it on online for an education tool for people doing a day to day journal. I learn a lot from journaling. Um, like specifically when I go back, I find that uh, my memory is less accurate than what I wrote. Oh yeah, I'll remember something. And when I go back, the date might be off like thirty days. Where I'm thinking, okay, you know, like uh, this was mid October, and I find out it was like late October, which is hugely different based on rut and stuff, right? Or I'll find out, you know, what I remember isn't really true. So those journals uh, really help me in in remembering every little detail of a hunt. Um, So I like to do it. It's just hard. I mean, because I got so much stuff going with like podcasts, radio shows, uh, running three businesses. I mean, it's, it's tough for me to find time, but I really liked posting it for the people reading it. But the trouble was when I was posting them, publicly um i got a lot of stalking because of it honestly Mm. Um, i still like to do it and i and i put up with the stalkers but it was just it was um really putting a uh harmful effect on my hunting yep and you just someone asked if you're journaling in the stand you're probably just doing it when you get home or something right yeah when i'm in the stand i'm not straight and hunting that's what i there's been almost every year I like start off the season. Like I'm going to write down everything and every hunt. And then of course I hunt every day. So after a while, you're just like, I don't feel like doing this tonight. I didn't see any, you know, whatever, you know, it's like, then you don't do it for a couple of days. And all of a sudden it's like, then you just don't do it the rest of the year. But well, even, even when you don't see something, it's good to know because if yeah, you go for sure. over five years and you think you hunted a stand twice and you find out you hunted it seven times and you haven't seen a thing yet, you need to yeah. change up your times when you're going in there. Or say, okay, this one time I saw something. But yep. look, that's out of the norm from the other times that I hunted. That was in September where I usually hunt that in rut. Then maybe you mm-hmm. try earlier. You know what I mean? And you'll mm-hmm. forget those things, period. 